Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to put on goalie equipment for ice hockey or roller hockey. So what are you going to start off with first? Is you guys are going to want something as a shirt, shorts and socks. Doesn't matter how many socks you have or what type of shorts you wear, whether it's just underwear or an extra shorts, but you're going to want something on underneath your equipment. You also begin with your cuff. So your cuff is extra protection right here. Uh, my cuff has generally got more protection on it than a player would because I take shots. Uh, as a player that's just moving around there giving the shots. So once I have my cuff on, what it does is it protects my hip and my groin area. So once I have that on, I'm then going to put on my pants. These pants have extra protection on the inner thighs and the outer thighs. What that's going to do is it's going to protect me from any shots that can come from the side or while I'm down in the bottom thigh, which I'll show you guys later. So with this pad in front here as well, that actual protects my upper thigh and my hip as well. Already, Although I already have one set of protection, it'll give me more protection on this. So once I have my cuff on, I'm going to go ahead and slide my leg pads on. Just like this. Depending on the person, you'll want these tighter or looser, depending on how you like your equipment. So overall, I like mine pretty tight, so what I'm going to do is I just tighten it with this scarf right here. It tightens up around my waist, which will stop it from moving around or falling off in the last place. So once I have my uh, pants on, what I do is I then grab my leg pads. So my leg pads look just like this. Okay. On the back, you'll see that there are all these straps on one side. On the other side, I have the cuffs. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open them up just like this, and I'm going to lay them down on the floor. You want your straps facing the inside. So once I have these on, and then sit my knee in the hole that the main pride has. Now for time purposes, I'm just going to buckle up a couple straps here to show you. So what we have, if you have a buckle or a leather strap that looks just like this, or we have a buckle. All you do is slide the leather strap through that buckle and pull it tight. Depending on the player, they may want it tight or loose. I personally like my pads tighter so that they stick to my legs while I'm trying to move, and it makes it easier for me to stand up and get back. So as you can see how I'm actually looping this extra leather strap right here, what that's going to do is it's going to stop it from falling on the ice or giving you my way wrong time. You'll want to strap up all the pads. And then once again, I'm going to double loop it back so it doesn't get on the ice. I can then stand up. Okay. So once I have my pads all, all tightened up against my legs, what I can then do is I can then put my chest pad on. So when I have my leg pads and I have my pants and my cuff on, I can then go put my chest pad on. So my chest pad is really important. It actually protects my uh, abdomen, my chest, so my ribcage, and my collarbone. This is a huge thing when you're taking shots. These shots can actually come at you to, from anywhere from 50 miles an hour to 90 miles an hour, which is really scary. So it's pretty simple. What it is, is it's pretty much got giant caps on the front of it, as you can see. What these do is they protect the puck, they'll absorb the, uh, the movement of the puck, which will slow it down for when it hits me, giving me more protection. So what I do is I just slide it on. Once I have this on, you can actually see that I got a lot bigger than I was before. And then I have these two arms right here. So what I'm going to do is I just slide my arms on through. It's pretty easy. So once I have my arm in, just like this, I then can tighten the strap. I personally like my straps nice and tight. The tighter they are, the more comfortable I am with my equipment. Because my gloves are my block. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for both sides. So once I have both my arms in and my chest pad is on correctly, it's nice and tight, nice and snug, you can see that I'm all covered. So now what I want to do is I want to throw on my jersey. So this is currently the team that I'm playing for right now. We're called the Eldorado Vipers. We're actually out of Brazil. That's our jersey. It's pretty simple. It's just like putting on a t-shirt. Some people may need help while doing this. Others may not. Just kind of wiggle on it. Once you have it on, all you do is slide your arms into both sides and then straighten it out so it looks nice. So as you can see, I'm ready to go. So once I have it on, what I can then do is I can then grab my helmet. Okay? So my helmet is actually in a protective mesh bag. What this mesh bag does is it allows my helmet to air out and it also gives it a little bit of protection when it's in my bag. So about my helmet, okay? you'll see that on the front of it I have this cage right here. 
What this cage is going to do is it's going to stop any pucks from entering my helmet or any sticks that could possibly hit my helmet. It gives a lot of protection. There's a lot of foam on the inside that actually cause my head to take less of the pressure from the puck than it would normally. Okay. So on the front, you can see I have this plastic uh, goblet right here. What this does is it actually stops pucks from hitting my neck. I've personally had two or three of these break on me from shots that I've taken from the point. So I'm really thankful for these goblets and they're really protected. So once I have it on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this back part right here. I'm going to lift it up and put it over. And now I have my helmet. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reach over and grab my blocker. So what the blocker is, is you can see it's a glove on the front. And on the top right here we have this pack. What that's going to do is it's going to project the pucks off to the side. When I go to save it, it'll put the puck over to the other side so that it doesn't bounce back to where the shoot shot came from. Next, I'm going to grab my glove. So this is kind of like a baseball mitt. What you guys are going to do is you're going to put it on just like this. You can see it's got a mesh now on the back. I should be able to move it pretty tight or pretty easily. You guys will want to change these, whether they'll be nice and tight or loose, depending on how the player is. Like I said multiple times, I like my equipment nice and tight so it's easy for me to move around. Lastly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my stick. So this is my goalie stick, it's a lot different than a player stick. It actually has a bigger paddle and a bigger blade than a player stick would and gives me more area to move around. So once I'm ready, I can get in my position and I'm ready to go.